grown men having to recall what had happened to them as very small children. Just their voice, I mean, they were shaking. They were they were broken. This juror says the two weeks of graphic testimony from victims were heavy and heartbreaking. After years of suppressing their trauma, they were finally telling their stories in court. And this juror says the emotions, the body language, and the tears were so real, there was no doubt they were telling the truth. We all said you can't shake that kind of emotion. And for every single one of them to display that, it's, it's what happens to sexual abuse victims. It's, you know, it's, they finally found their voice. The 12 member jury, made up of six men and six women, were not allowed to talk about it until the day of deliberation. They weren't allowed to take notes either. They had to go off their memories. So it was very hard having to keep it all in, but you can see everybody's faces. We were drained. Although they were tired, this juror says they were all in agreement about the guilty verdict and their conversations were pretty much aligned. They hope this will bring closure to the victims and help them heal while giving courage to other victims. This has affected so many people's lives, not just the victims, their families, their friends, their co-workers. It has affected so many lives. People should not be ashamed or afraid to say what happened to them. Well, the juror says Jack Strain was composed the entire time and said his facial expression did not change. Tonight